So we, we want to continue the conversation and what you two share and talk about that transition period from the pediatric care to the adult care for those with sickle cell disease. Uh, Maya, could you share, are there transition training programs or maybe roadmaps that can help prepare patients for this kind of transition? Sure. There's definitely roadmaps because we know this transition period, there's a spike in mortality or a spike in death rates. It's a very delicate time. And there's a lot of reasons for that. I mean, the whole treatment landscape or just the insurance landscape going from pediatrics to adult is very complex. So if you don't understand the logistics of that or know how to find an adult provider, there's a lot of places where patients can kind of slip through the cracks and unfortunately at the risk of their own health. So there are different transition uh, programs that are in place. Some of them start, most I would say started around 16 years of age. There's some that start as early as 12. And it's essentially an outline which covers different topics that you want to incorporate the patient in at each of their clinic visits. So transitioning is not going to happen in one visit. It's from the fact that it can start as early as 12 and a patient's not transitioning until anywhere from 18 to 21. You can imagine there's a ton of information that needs to be discussed at these visits. So there are different roadmaps that are in place. And the, the thought is, is that you introduce different concepts at each appointment. So what's your diagnosis? What's your genotype? What do you do? What are your triggers? What do you do in the event of the emergency? What's your insurance? Do you know how to get a referral? So there's a lot of different uh, topics that are discussed and covered using this roadmap to ultimately prepare a patient for the best chances of succeeding in transitioning.